Hey there, folks. It's 12 p.m. lunchtime, Saturday, July 21st, 2018. Um, just yelling at Deanne. I got to get my lungs back. <laughs> It's not all torture for us. We get to have some fun, too. Every once in a while, we get together and talk to the kids, all the kids. Anyway. Let me look at this, make sure we got everything going. Oh, these are the close-up glasses. And we have, okay, sounds working. All right, um, I got three videos I need to get out uh, that I, I know I got to get out before I can get out of here. Um, I've talked a bit about the spheres, okay, the energy they put out, but I've never given you the information you should have on how to use them and stuff like that. I'm going to do that in the video, but it's not this one. Also, uh, <clears throat> the cleansing purge of creation. Um, creation's being cleaned. The problems in it, the cancer is being purged, cut out. Most all of it's really done. Um, we'll talk about that. Uh, in another video. But this one. This is a question that some people will float through some people's will float through some people's minds but they seldom actually ask. It's like one of those questions that goes, huh, I wonder. Let me ask you something. Excuse me, I need cold water. Slurping water. Anyway, uh, we look at the uh, let me move this over just a bit. We look at the... Oh, a train going down a track. It's a, a lot of them are, especially here in the U.S., they're diesel run. Some electric. And the electric ones, the rails and the wire over them are the positive and negative that allow it to fire up the end the motors electrical motors or with fuel the engines where it allows them to move down the track with a light bulb you turn a switch on which makes the current fly to it and back it's got positive and negative in it and that literally lights up the light bulb it puts electricity through it and it lights up Um, wet your fingers, stick them in the electrical outlet, and you, you feel your whole body jerking all over the place, you need to slap the crap out of yourself. <laughs> um, never seen that done, don't want to see it. Anyway, uh, you get the gist to what I'm saying. There needs to be some form of energy or power used to make something operate. Uh, you don't see a tennis ball just fly through the air. You don't see a tennis ball run around in circles, bounce up and down and just take off. Uh, how, how does your body work? How does your body work? Come on, think about it. You don't have a battery. You don't have an electrical cord. 
You don't burn gas or fuel. You don't have a nuclear power plant in you. How does your body function? What makes your physical mass of a body alive? There's cells that keep reproducing. Okay. How does that happen? Do they have batteries, electrical cords? Your lungs continue to breathe until you die. Your uh, heart, the same. Do they have batteries? Electrical charge within your body. Okay, well, where's the battery inside the body or outside of the body that makes that happen? How the heck does this go on? It's a simple question. Your spirit. Your spirit runs your body. Some people would say, okay, your soul runs the body. Well, yeah, I used to do that along with the, uh, um, back when we all had Kundalini's, which is, uh, only stopped uh, this year from 2017 from the end of 2017 and all the way back to the, almost to the very beginning of time you had a kundalini the two spirits uh, inside the body the planetary essence is what would perform that function and you took it over as soon as the planetary essence was removed which was 2018 so anyway, uh, well, how does it do it? Energy does have a charge. The original first being, how was it made? Uh, creation series, uh, book one, creation is beginning in your origin. How was the first, very first being created that later demanded it be called God? How did it come to be? Five different energy fields coming together. Non-sentient energy fields, five of them come together. And when they mix together with that electrical charge, that in this case was the, uh, in the case of uh, what we came from, the original first being, uh, it was the fifth one to add itself to the other four energies already coagulating or coming together. And it was a form of electrical magnetic uh, energy. And that's what's in your body. They read those minute pulses for the EEG, e EKG, QEEG. They're minute, sensitive elect, uh, electrical impulses, electromagnetic. They come from you. The body is not you. You are what is trapped inside the body and making it run at the same time. Problem is you can't now anyway, and all up to now, you've never been able to just turn it off when you wanted to. It's a trap. This, these physical bodies are a trap in so many ways. And the original first being male and female just got better and better at uh, making them more towards what somebody will call a perfect trap. A perfect is not a true thing, but it means all the in intensive uh, improvement in something the word perfection does. But it's, it's located inside your brain. The strongest, most intelligent, the most powerful part of you is located in the brain. And then the core of your energy, what used to be called the Kundalini, flows up and down to your spine to right above your head down to at the bottom of your tailbone.
That's what runs your body. You're about to find out a whole lot more than that about yourself soon. People talk about the veil is thinning. The veil between like a, a curtain in between dimensions, dimensional barrier. There is a barrier. It has, there has to be a barrier to isolate different dimensions because the basic, the dimension itself is made from one specific frequency of energy, non-sentient energy. And then there's a barrier that separates it from the other, from the next dimension, which is another frequency, an in, another frequency that's different than the other uh, frequency. They can be the same, but they never are. They're always just off a little bit. That's how you build dimensions in an area. They are, and always will be, strong barriers, or they'll be removed. The thing is, people are getting help waking up. People are getting stronger but they've been getting help to wake up and do a better job of seeing through these barriers. When you go multidimensional, the pineal will help you more than the solar plexus to see things. But although the solar plexus uses remote viewing more, which is mostly in this dimension, a little bit above, just barely above and just barely below. Um, it's also used to access the field, which goes through all dimensions. So you can get information there. No matter how you see, no matter how you function through the body you're in, you have a few ways to see. And that's only going to get stronger, going to keep getting stronger. It's been getting stronger for a while, but it's going to keep getting that way. Well, that's what runs your body. In book three, um, this orange one right over here, creation book number three. I explain exactly how your body operates through the brain, how it functions, how your abilities function through not just the brain, but the body, the different glands of the brain. Folks, everything you need is there. There are currently neurologists, scientists, uh, uh, genealogists, um, some type of genetic uh, scientist too. I don't know. I don't know what they're called. Psychiatrists, medical doctors. They're interested in knowing how this stuff happens. Neurosurgeons, especially, they want to know how this is known. They're still trying to map up, map out how uh, it flows through the brain, through the nerve nervous system. Your nervous system is like the wiring that goes through your body to, to move the stronger impulses that come out of your brain that are created through your personal spirit. But it doesn't need to have its own specific highway. It also flows, flows genetically right through it. But uh, it's a simple thing that's been looked overlooked a long time. Some people might say, God does it. No, sorry, no God. That's you. Anyway, um, if y'all get the time, uh, that book three has got so much stuff in it. Um, what you, uh, everything you want to know, almost anything you could ask is in there. There's so much information in there 
about the metaphysical that is not anywhere else, period. But book one tells you how everything started, creation started. Book two tells you how it grew, how it grew up together. We all did as spirits, sentient energy, and not just in bodies, but the bodies too. And book three is about, it, it, there's so much in there. ET arrivals, some of the things that are going to be in the future. Um, and how they're going to get laid out, how they're going to happen. How someone with no money will be able to uh, come up with a way to travel through the universe on a ship. There's so much stuff in there. Anyway, folks, look, gotta run. Love you, take care, and have a good one.